Hello guys, welcome back to the workshop. Um, it's been a while. I've been distinctly busy. Uh, we put a new roof on the garage and uh, sorted a load of other stuff out which has kind of delayed everything. But parts are finally here for the scrambler. Um, so when I returned from Wales, um, having not done the Strat Florida, um, so you got a bit of an issue with the rear wheel bearing on the scrambler. Um, and if you hark back to the build, you'll know that I put new wheel bearings in. Uh, one thing I didn't do, which was an omission, but I wanted to get the bike on the road. I was a uh, press of time, something I was going to do later date. Um, there is a spacer tube that sits between the two wheel bearings that go in the hub, and I didn't swap that over. So that's still the original Tiger spacer, which is for a different size axle. Um, I got a sneaking suspicion because of the free play that's in the centre of that on the diameter that's not sitting correctly between the two bearings and it's probably loaded a race up um, so that's probably what's done these bearings in so when I went to get the new wheel bearings for Emily's muck mongrel I uh, picked up a set for the scrambler I've also ordered from Triumph a brand new wheel spacer so that's ready to go in. Uh, also got the Moto and Caliper Relocation Kit. Got the sprockets to fit the seals. Nice new set of brake pads. I've repainted and dressed up the Caliper mounting bracket and cleaned the slide pins. Um, the pads weren't horrific, but you can probably see from here, this pad's got a lot more life left in it than this one. So the caliper was definitely stuck on the, uh, on the pins. Um, and slight upgrade for the chain tensioner this is a free spirits dynamic chain tensioner with a complete rolling sprocket so hopefully that'll be a bit quieter and should last significantly longer than the snip horn that's on there at the moment so yeah all these things left to do I'm gonna get on with that I have got the other episode well, the next episode on Emily's bike uh, currently in editing so that will be coming shortly as well um, because we have got that on the road it is MOT'd a bit of a sneak preview ahead but yeah um, it's going to be sat there under a tarpaulin um, but yeah so let's get the back wheel out of the Triumph again I got the wheel out, That's, uh, that was fairly quick and easy and I can already see the failure point so it looks like the left hand bearing um, hopefully you can see that it's pulled all the seal out of the bearing so it's now an open bearing and I guess it's been rain and all sorts in there I, don't, I can't quite understand why it's done that so we'll get that seal out it's starting to push the seal out this side so yeah we'll get that out and we'll uh, take a good look and uh, see how bad it is so as is apparent um, got the wheel bearing seal out and uh, yeah it's pretty bad we've got a number of rollers or ball bearings missing and there's definitely a crushed one in there amongst other things so uh, get yeah, this all cleaned up get the circle clip out and then we can uh, start taking the bearings out. So, this is all on me. Um, I have uh, done a bit of an inspection. Uh, you can see all the damage piled up in that little lid um, this is the bearing from the other side and hopefully this comes out in the video uh, you can see quite a big score in the seal there uh, and this is what's left of the seal from the, uh, the failed bearing um, but you can also see if I turn this one over the outside edge of this other bearing is absolutely fine 
There's a little bit of debris here from one of the other spaces. I think that's from when the whole centre's locked up at some point. Um, and then a failure of this bearing, the remnants are in there, uh, as the rollers have dropped through the wheel. They completely destroyed the wheel spacer. <laughs> the end is chewed to death. Um, so, my current summary on this, <coughs> the offset, offset spacing is correct, um, what I believe, which I should never have done in the first place, this is the original Tiger 800 uh, internal spacer for the wheel, and the Tiger takes a 20mm axle, as you can see in there. Audible is a 17mm axle, so there's room for this to move and not sit square. So I think this has shifted at some point, which is why it's preloaded more on one edge than the other, and the opposite this end. The key is to replace that space out with one of the correct size, which I should have done in the first place rather than being impatient. Uh, yeah, we can put it back together. That's about as far as we can go, I think. Uh, till that new spacer comes. Um, turns out the Bonneville spacer isn't long enough. Um, so I've just ordered the spacer. It's the correct length of 27.2mm, I think it is. So once we get that, we can start putting it together. Uh, yeah, that'll be the uh, next episode. Thank you for joining me on this uh, little bit of an investigation, and uh, see you on the next one. Click like, subscribe, all the usual good stuff, and uh, Take it easy.